All right. Okay. Are we live? Yeah. All right. Yep. We are back at the Omerta Cigar Company in Oklahoma City. Peter and Dwayne are still with us. And we're getting Bar surprised. We're getting surprised. We're getting surprised. Getting surprised. Uh, we're coming in and spending some time with us. Now, you guys are going to have to figure out how to share this because we only got one bottle for you. Okay. We're, we're good with at sharing. Your yes. Interest <laughs> in this particular one at the store the other day, Dwayne and I decided to gift you a bottle. Wow. And that's so amazing. That's one of 300 available worldwide. Thank you. Yes. Oh, you're welcome. And, Thank uh, you. You're welcome. You that appreciate is, it. That's just yes. an example of the Oklahoma hospitality that you'll get down here when you come back. Wow. No, so I uh, hope you enjoy. We're coming back. Yeah. <laughs> We're, good. We're good. Now, do you want to run a review of this right now, too? That's, we open it. Call. Yes. Bottle, Let's yeah. do it. Let's do our live here. Well, not live. Again, we'll it's, post. It's one of 300 bottles. We're just stunned. Worldwide. One of 300 bottles worldwide. Czechoslovakia. I will, I, yeah, I will tell you. So uh, we're in Peter's store. Scott sees this. I wasn't aware. And he sees it in your cabinet. And it's a locked cabinet. And I see him eyeballing. But I'm not sure what he's eyeballing in there. Because you got a <laughs> lot of good stuff in the locked cabinet. Then he asks, I can't remember your gentleman. He was very helpful that was working that day. That would have been Charles. Okay, so Charles come over. Comes over with clean. Oh, you wanted something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I'm going to let you pour. You pour. Well, all right, because I'll keep talking while you're pouring. So here's mine, Peter's. All right. So Scott takes a look, and then, and I've, I've forgotten that. What's, what's the gentleman's Charles. name? Charles. So Charles opens it up. Scott looks at it, and he tells me a little bit about it, and he puts it back down. And we walk around the store, we pick up a few things. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, wonderful, wonderful source, great price, extremely well priced. And then Scott's back again, and he's looking at it again, and I'm like, come on, pull the trigger. And he's like, well, maybe we'll have a reason to come down again another time. And then, here we are back, and, and thank you. Uh, Let's put the, it right so back. this will probably be separate from the day nine yes. of the uh, Secret Spirits Scotch Whiskey Advent Calendar. Uh, Peter owns the Well of OKC, a great okay. liquor store here in Oklahoma Phenomenal. City. Dwayne is the owner of the Omerta Cigar Company, which Ooh. is where we're at. We've been at Iron Root Republic for the weekend, was coming mm -hmm. back through. Peter reached out and said, hey, we yep. can come back through if you want to stop by. We'd love to show you some things. And we were getting shown yes, some, some things. things. <laughs> he learned we were at the store. He knew there was a uh, uh, Scott's love and, and, and hence the surprise. So uh, we're all one big family. Love it. Good. Scotch lovers. Yep. Well, here's, we brought in a few, these are our, our chat, what we call this our challenge good. points. They work as great Glen Cairn top, yep. toppers. Oh, excellent. Help you capture the nose. That's right. So those are, you there both you get go. one. Thank you very much. I saw these on your website. And they're, awesome. yep, and they're numbered. I've got number 430. 426. 428. 427. Yep. So now I see that your coin is now tagged to this review. That's right. And show people. Nice, very nice. Yep. I'll put this in the case. I'll build a little. Beautiful. Thing, you know? <laughs> We've got a military tradition. We we're both in the army years ago, so of course the challenge coins that come through in the military. So when we were looking for something different, we thought, "Oh, this would be neat for the show." And quite by accident, Scott had noticed one night he was just sipping and enjoying, and and he was like, "You know what? This kind of holds in that that scent a little bit." And so it's it's worked in real nice as a little topper nice. you can have right in your pocket. Pull on out. So this is the hammerhead. It's from the Czech Republic, 28 years old. Single uh, cask. Single cask. Yep, one of 300 bottles. Mm -hmm. Brought to the states, 51.2 percent. I'm going from memory here, from looking at You're it. You're doing so. good. Yep, 51.2 right on the back. And we did have a little sample. We had uh, actually we finished yeah. off a bottle that you had. Right. Uh, that bad boy there. Great presentation. Um, just, just a, a wonderful uh, bottle, and uh, I mean, it's an impressive. I mean, it really grabs your attention at your store. Really big legs. Mm. Yeah, it does. And it's real light and clean and refreshing on the nose. You know what I just got though that I didn't get on the first one. What'd you get? The peat. Really? It's very, yeah. very. See, we very talked very about it. very light. Uh, it probably oxidized off a little bit. The other bottle. Yeah. Yeah, it's only been open a couple of months. Oh, really? But, so they, uh, Hammerhead had imported. Eight months mm. when we did the tasting. So what was some of the history? Because um, I know you've given us a little background on some of the history of the uh, of the bottle. 
and where they found the cask. So what was some of that, uh, what's some of the background on this? Well, they, as I understand it, it's all 100% Czech product. Right. Kind of got some peat in. Mm -hmm. Predominantly the distillery was making vodka and they wanted to do a little whiskey expression. So they brought some peat in, smoked, mm -hmm. smoked their locally grown barley and distilled it. And then at the end of the Cold War, the warehouse was shut down and it just laid in this basement for years until someone came in and discovered it. And it's delicious. Um, they decided to uh, bottle and bring it into the United States. Not only uh, was it Czech barley, it was also Czech oak. Czech mm -hmm. oak, yes. So something unique that uh, most, most of us have never tried before. And to give a little bit of love for your rep, because you'd actually call the rep, right? Yes. And he'd given us a little background as well, just since we were in here. Yeah. What's, what's his name again? Uh, Jeff with Provisions out of Tulsa. Mm. Jeff Simpson. Uh, he's extremely knowledgeable about his product base that he sells, and he's always fun to visit with when he comes to the store. He knows that when he comes to the store, it's not a 15-minute sales call. It's usually a couple hours. <laughs> and there's going to be whiskey involved? And there's whiskey involved. Beautiful. And, you know, he's, he's a, he has a great wine base knowledge, too. Um, he's an, another Oklahoma boy, southern Oklahoma. Mm. Um, knows his stuff, and, he, and he's always fun to deal with. Awesome. And so he, with the relationship that we've built over the last year or so or more, uh, he knows my passion, Dwayne's passion, and I'm able to get some things that they are unique, unique. Very, very unique. Very nice. And definitely now other stores can get them too, but yeah. Sure. Sure. Yep. yep. But the 28 years of this and coming from the cellar shows on the palate that richness of the, the oak. And I think they said even virgin oak, I think 28 right. years in virgin oak. Czech oak. Yeah. Czech, Czech oak, oak from the cellar. I mean, so it was lower temperatures. It hangs on your palate, the, the oak tannins, the maltiness, everything is in there. I get that slight peat now that I didn't get off of that last of the bottle kill. Hmm. That is good. It's got, a, just, little, it's got a little earthiness to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And maybe the, that type of wood we never experienced before. Mm -hmm. I get right. some mushroom hmm. on it. It's very it's unique. Good. Yeah. Very, very enjoyable. Yeah. If you see a bottle, yes. pick it up. I yeah. would say that. One of 300, there's not very many around. Mm -hmm. I've got 12 left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if, if you That's want a bottle, well if you want a bottle OKC. of Hammerhead, 28-year Czech Republic single malt whiskey, mm -hmm. and you're near Oklahoma City, stop by the well of OKC. Unfortunately, we can't ship. Yeah. All the state, yeah. With the new with the laws. And stuff, yes. You can't ship. But you might have a friend in Oklahoma City. You yep. bet. <laughs> well, Maybe worth the drive. Yeah, definitely worth the drive. Stop by Wichita on your way through if you're coming from the northern regions, and you can even have a drink with the dummies. Matter of fact, if you purchase in your on your way back, stop by and share it with us. <laughs> no, we'll share back. Mm. No, this is this is wonderful. Now, I haven't added. Do we want to add a drop of water? Well, I have not done that. I think it's you should. Really, it's it's beautiful. It the way it is strong on its own. Yeah. I think with the water, you'll open up. Okay. You'll get a lot, more yes, sir. Of, a lot more of the essence yeah. that comes off it. But you want a little bit? We can yeah. top you up a little There's bit. There's some nice uh, citrus sweetness in there with it as well coming through. Same thing with a little water. Well, thank you very much for that bottle. It's amazing. That's an amazing drink. You'll always have that tie now. Too. Yes. Omerta Cigar Company and the Well of OKC. Mm. We appreciate it. Well, one of our no for more than football. Okay. Yes, <laughs> great whiskey for sure. And as we talk on the show, and as we've already learned here, whiskey's meant to be shared. I mean, if you're if you're sitting alone and just drinking your whiskey, half the enjoyment's gone. It really, really is. It is, and I learned something when I first started about twenty years ago that uh, whiskey should always, on the nose and the taste, invoke a memory. If it doesn't invoke a memory of somewhere you've been or someplace you've been, you know, grandma's house or Christmas or or who you were with at the time right. that, that you drank it, then if it doesn't do that, it's going to create a new memory. Mm -hmm. There you go. Perfect. And one thing I've learned about the whiskey friends that I've made, it doesn't matter the value of the whiskey. 
they'll share it. Mm -hmm. They don't yeah. hoard it. Yeah. Nope. They want they want it to get. They want to share their experiences yeah. with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've been fortunate to have lots of really good whiskey through Dwayne and other Scotch friends in the community. Well, yeah. I mean, look. As soon as we we've never met, we show up. Dwayne's bringing us in, he's showing us, and your pride of even, hey, take a look at this, and then of course we're, oh my, oh look at this, you have that, you have this over here, and then we get, oh, you haven't seen anything yet, and we're like, oh, you got to be kidding me, <laughs> and then we hadn't seen anything yet, and then we're like, you know what, are you guys willing to go on camera, because we're going to break out something we're doing right now with yeah. this advent calendar, and it's just, and it's just, as soon as you're around, I mean, we've done a couple whiskey gatherings, and the folks that show up even when we've organized some tasting events, once we're together kind of even after event, it's amazing the bottles that pop up, you know, hey, I wanted to share this and I want and then you're like, oh my, and then, you know, and hey, we've got this. And it's just, that's the joy of coming together and then sharing that together because you're hundred percent right. Yeah. And it creates and formulates those, those memories that, uh, I mean, we've had some stuff where I can just immediately, as soon as you said that, I was thinking, yep, here, this, I remember that. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about how I met Raj, how you know Raj, Sabrawal. I always say his last name wrong. Did you have, it, I right? have it right? Yeah. Okay. I met Raj crawling out of a taxi in Houston. Really? There was a whiskey event down in Houston, and I was working on the Amarut whiskeys, mm -hmm. trying to get more of them into the state, and I called the rep, and they said, well, you need to meet Raj. Mm -hmm. He, I said, okay, fine. I wonder if he's going to be at this event. So I pull up to the hotel. I get out of the, the Uber or the taxi. I forget what I was in. Mm -hmm. And there he is standing right there in front of me. Mm. Because I, I read his name tag. And I said, Raj, I'm Peter from Oklahoma City. I have the well wine experience. And he goes, I've heard about you. Mm. And I said, this is what I want to do. The next thing I know, he's getting me in the back door at the event. And he's, he's yeah. getting, and he takes me over to the Amarut table and, Get to meet the distiller, the, the, the mm -hmm. son, and the grandson, and mm -hmm. I mean, he just opened right up. Very that's, much. Uh, that's nice pretty revolution. much the whiskey industry in general. Yeah. 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 Yep. It was a great experience. I'm texting Dwayne, going, oh, "Look who I'm drinking with." Yeah. <laughs> now, I don't. I think it was on the when we did the Secret Spirits uh, when we did day nine, but we asked Dwayne what got him into liquor. And he actually like pinned down the date and time. He said it was like July seventh yeah. at eighteen hundred hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. nineteen ninety eight. Military time. <laughs> Peter, what got you into whiskey? I was working at another liquor store at the time as the wine manager, and the owner says you're going to do a single malt tasting. Mm. I said, but I don't drink scotch. He says you're going to learn, and from that point on, that's all I've had. Wow, I feel that. Definitely. And you know what? I'm getting a little bit of the peat now, uh -huh. too. It's, it is still water really subtle. Helped that. Yeah, yeah water and that might have been it. It yeah. becomes very subtle. Yeah. I actually got it before the water. Yeah. But it, it's, it's really pronounced. good. It's, it's pronounced not, now. The flavors much aren't the PDS. overpowering. Yeah. It's, I think this is one of these whiskeys that you could, on a, even a 110 day, mm. degree day, mm. you could sip and enjoy yes. and well, it's got that the clean, crisp, it. light refreshingness to it. And it's just fun to play with on the palate. You know, I think blind, I would think there was a, a port cask influence or something to it. There's a nice kind of a white wine, or no, port's not white, mm -hmm. but almost like a nice wine finish on the tail end of it. It's probably just from the virgin oak in the 28 years. Yeah. It's but it almost, unique, to me, unique. it feels almost like a, uh, like it's been in a white wine. Yeah. I think you're getting some of the point. sugars out of the oak. Probably. Could be. Yeah. 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 yeah, if I had it blind, I wouldn't know where to put it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I would I would think scotch, but I would go that's not, but I, you know, and, and that's why, I mean, I think that's what drew your interest originally is that it's so different. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. all right. Well, again, all right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Peter, thank you. Dwayne, yeah, thank, Dwayne. You. thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. Enjoyed it very much. Yep. Again. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you All again. Right. Peter, yep. scotch it, you scotch gods. Slange. Slange. Dummies. Dummies. All right. A little bit. Woo. Beautiful. Come under. <laughs> <laughs> mm.